Yo, what's good, everybody? It's Eclipse from Team Ruthless. And my boy Carlos wanted me to talk about handhelds. And at first, I was like, eh, I don't remember really messing with handhelds like that. But then, after giving it some thought and a little bit of research, I think handhelds have a bigger place in gaming and in my heart than I initially thought. Now, First of all, did y'all know that the Nintendo DS is the second most con sold console behind the PS2? Now, I did not know that. <laughs> now, if y'all know that, cool. But I did not know that. And it uh, actually kind of wowed me. Um, but yeah, and I think it's a lot to the fact that uh, a lot of great series were survived through handhelds. You have one of the biggest of all franchises in probably the history of gaming, Pokemon. That started on handhelds and literally pretty much stayed on handhelds besides like the stadium games um it's old history of, of, of its life and i think that's a big part of why the ds probably sold a lot and i think a lot of it has a lot to do with games like monster hunter and uh i think the world ends with you was on nintendo ds and a lot of those great creative titles that we kind of weren't getting during that time now we had like I, Call of Duty. I feel like was so big at the time that we kind of start getting creative games for the most part. I won't say completely, but PS3. I remember being kind of that generation kind of being shadowed by you know the Call of Duty series. You know, if it wasn't that, you were playing Battlefield or something. Um, <laughs> and I feel like a lot of t uh, series and titles were kept alive during that era because of handhelds even going back to like the game boy advance and where we had like mega man x kind of died off we had mega man zero one through four that kept that series alive we had i feel like the handhelds usually had better spinoffs than you know current like ps3 had metal gear right um metal gear revengeance rising or whatever which I like that game, but a lot of people did not like it. A lot of fans were not happy with that game. But PSP had Metal Gear Peace Walker, which I think more fans were happy with. And I thought that was a great game. Uh, there was another one on PSP that was really cool that people liked a lot. And it was more of the old school Metal Gear. And I think it had some kind of multiplayer on it too. That's another thing. There was a lot of uh, creativity and exploring with multiplayer titles. Now you had Metal Gear. You had... Fantasy Star was kept alive during handhelds. You had Fantasy Star Zero on the DS. You had Fantasy Star Portable 1 and 2, Infinite that we never got. But Fantasy Star Portable 1 and 2 were, you know, especially 2 was a great game. It was in had online multiplayer and a dungeon, a pretty cool dungeon crawler game that we did not have on consoles. You know, we had Borderlands, but, you know, for the Fantasy Star fans and somebody who wanted to stop playing an fps uh fantasy star portable 2 was a nice nice little getaway from all that um also um there were i think remakes were originally not originally started on handhelds but i think where it got its popularity from like where people realized we could sell remakes of video games which is a little bit better quality and people will buy it there was the fun you know final fantasy originally seven i think and eight you could play on your psp and your ps3 but you know they, they were selling it that way oh now it's portable uh zelda ocarina of time and majora's mask got the 3d remake mario 64 got the remake star fox 64 i think got a remake all those games are getting remakes and i feel like that didn't really get too big yo power stone one and two collection yo there's a bunch of remade titles on uh playstation portable and nintendo ds and i think that's a, a main reason why it's it's a big thing now it's because they realized then they could sell those games um quite in pretty good numbers for for a lot of the fans who were missing out on uh, missing these titles look at crash team racing that just dropped in uh the crash bandicoot and spiral remake trilogies um that and i feel like it's a it's important to see that where the switch like nintendo switch like it definitely took ideas from the playstation vita 
um, in the DS and threw it onto a console where like where the PlayStation Vita had where you can kind of connect and also I think the PlayStation Vita was kind of ahead of its time even though it was probably the worst handheld we've ever had in terms of like uh, video game library um, the technology behind it was pretty cool being able to turn it to a controller and do remote play from your PlayStation 4 to your PS3 or play, PlayStation Vita and it was a pretty cool concept and Nintendo Switch definitely took from that and even with this new streaming service Google Stadia and, and the Xbox Ultimate Gaming Pass or whatever that thing's called being able to connect your controller to your your phone and play it off of that or tablet or whatever like you gotta you gotta owe it all to the, the Vita that was the, they were doing that ahead of the time before anybody else was doing it and I think they they realized the the market in that and I think the scary thing about handhelds nowadays is that and I think it, this is especially why the Vita died was the creativity in games kind of started lacking and I think it's a lot a lot of the reasons because the video gaming is now a bigger business and more of a business than it has ever been and now you just want to sell get as many copies as fast as you can in the people's hands and not only that make it playable everywhere but in order for you to do that you kind of have to streamline the game so in process in in the ways they're making games i feel like it's more streamlined they're, they're just going with what they know works sometimes <laughs> anthem um and we're not getting too many different creative uh different gameplay ideas like kingdom hearts with chain of memories the world ends with you was a different game you had project egg zone which was a game with um Capcom, Namco, uh, Atlas, I think. Atlas, I might be wrong about Atlas. Capcom, Namco, maybe Atlas, Sega, and Nintendo characters, all in one game with a cool little bat uh, RPG turn based uh, kind of action combat, which wasn't like super original, you know, they kind of stole it from Legend of Lagaya, but it was still pretty cool to see that, plus with all your characters, and you never seen a game like that, you never seen a crossover that big, besides Smash Bros, on a console, <laughs> like, let's be real, and even then, it, it might, they, I think they have more characters than Smash Bros Ultimate does, so, there's that, and then, not only that, I, I feel like the need for handheld games is starting to go away and like now we have the switch which was kind of a um you know a crossbreed of you know handheld and a home console but you know we lost you know power with that like it's not as strong as the ps4 or the xbox one and ps5 and xbox uh scarlet is already around the corner and i want i honestly wonder what nintendo's gonna do for the next hardware and i don't expect them to announce anything anytime soon at least not a stronger switch or anything but I guess we'll see. But a, a lot of things too is now you have everybody has it is a phone, and these are I think these some of these are stronger than our PS4s <laughs> right now. And and not only is that easier to sell because games game developers really don't have to sell phones, but all they have to do is throw a game on the app, and people got it, and everybody has a phone. And I think handhelds. Like I don't see a new a uh, new video game handheld console ever coming out again. Switch is probably the only thing we're ever gonna have, and Nintendo might keep up with this kind of hybrid console, maybe because it seemed to work out pretty well. But other than that, I don't see another PlayStation portable. Xbox is probably gonna stick with the Ult Xbox Ultimate Pass and probably use it to sell more phones, if anything, more Android type phones or whatever, or Microsoft phones, whatever they got. The same thing with the Stadia, Google phones, and Apple. Like, I think that's that's the competition now, and I think they can't compete. They really can't compete with mobile phones. Again, everybody has one. Uh, I've I don't think I've met a person in a long time with a flip phone or something. Everybody has a phone that can play some kind of video games on it. So, and I think that's the competition. And if if you watched E3, you've seen a lot of these. Um, major platform or major games running on the phone <laughs> so i think that's 
especially with these streaming services and whatnot. Uh, I think that's going to be the new wave, and it sucks because we're probably going to lot going to lose out on a lot of games that we potentially could have. Maybe not, you know. Maybe I'm thinking too deep, but uh, it is what it is. <laughs> But uh, you guys tell me what you think and tell me what kind of handheld games you guys played and what series did you um, miss for a while that continued to be on handheld. I know Kingdom Hearts was kind of weird because they put a bunch of fucking games on handhelds and fucking major consoles and you had to play them all to get the story. But things like Mega Man Zero where you kind of didn't need to it was pretty dope and Project X Zone which had an original story was pretty cool. And the world ends with you. Just really dope games that also got a remake for the Switch. Like, and oh, Ace Attorney, uh, did, what is that? Ace Attorney, whatever, Detective, whatever that shit is. But people love it. I've never played that game, but people love it. And if it wasn't for handhelds, you probably would have never got that game. But, uh, yeah, that's all I had to say. And you guys tell me what y'all think. And if y'all think handhelds are done or not. But I think they are. It was pretty pretty cool but especially now that i see you know pokemon is now uh, on fucking phones and now it's finally coming to a home console that's kind of portable too i don't see handhelds ever being as strong as they used to be um compare uh that's not a phone but it is what it is <laughs> y'all take it easy be safe deuces